by having six people on the picket line. Now, there's no that. way, I mean, that you can win a strike with six pickets, so you got to violate these injunctions. And the lawyers are made to get you out of trouble after you get in, not to get you out of trouble before you get in. I'll put it like this. You do what you want to do. <laughs> Women all over the country are interested in what their husbands are doing. They're interested in the safety laws that the United Mine Workers have, and they want their husbands to have the pension funds. They don't want their husbands going into these scab mines with a rock of falling and running these your motors with no brakes. So they want to participate. They're ready and willing. The good thing about our club is that now we're giving them the chance to participate. You see, when their husbands goes in their the mines, that they're praying that they'll get out. I think that they they feel like it, uh, maybe their prayers will be answered sooner if uh, they are working under a UMWA contract. Well, I went down there in support of the miners, for the miners, and in support of my own children, too, that I'm raising up. Now, sit down real easy. Sit down. Now, I'm now running away. I can't get my foot. Angie. I couldn't get my foot out of here. You're missing. If the scout starts to cross the picket lines, we went because we was trying to protect, you know, the scout was going to take your daddy's job. When they sign the contract, Daddy's going to help hot running water in a big old bathtub. Let's have some doggy matters now. Come on, you cool miners, wherever you may be. And listen to a story that I'll relate to thee. My name is nothing extra, but the truth to you I'll tell. I am a coal miner's wife, I'm sure I wish you well. They take your very life blood, they take our children's lives. Take fathers away from children, and husbands away from wives. Oh, miner, won't you organize? And we have to fight for our rights. You're going to have to fight for that. If you have more safety in the mines, if you get your portal to portal pay, if you have your doctor card, then you can be doctors. Because if you get disabled and you don't have any backing, then some home will get you or your family will get you. <coughs> or you see, I know what it means. And this club means a lot to pull us all together. Everybody stand together in it, and everybody goes together. Everybody go out on the picket line, and we'll win their contract if they'll all stand up. This big crowd had gathered, you know, supporters. One car went through with three men in it. They had to slip through. And uh, the next car that came through, we were able to get in the road and lay down. Come on, guys, lay down, lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Let them see what kind of law we got in Harlan County. What kind of state police we got? That's what to do. We didn't give them any resistance, whatever. We just laid down in the road because they were there to escort those steps through the work. And that's been going on for a whole month. And we just come too far for that. Thank you, friends. 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 Thank <laughs> you. 